Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how to prepare a Windows 11 USB key that you can install on unsupported PCs and unsupported hardwares. Meaning that PCs that don't have TPM, that has like less than 8 gigabytes of RAM and that has like a very old CPU. To achieve this, you need three things. First, you need a Windows 11 ISO and I'm gonna show you how to download this from Microsoft site. Second, you need a USB key that is 8 gigabytes or more. And third, you need a software called Rufus. Previously, I've made a video on how to do this using Rufus. It was Rufus 3.16. So why I am making a video about this? It is because after version 3.16, Rufus changed the location of selecting the no TPM version and they also added more options like using a local account and skipping the privacy questions and so on. So I want to show you all this in this video. So let's start first by downloading the Windows 11 ISO from Microsoft site. On your Windows PC, open a web browser and go to this site, microsoft.com slash software dash download. And here click on Windows 11. And here scroll until you find download Windows 11 disk image ISO. And then click on the drop down list and then click Windows 11. Click download. Click this drop down list here choose the language you want. For me, I'm going to choose English United States. Click Confirm. And then here, click on 64-bit download. And the download will start. I previously downloaded this ISO file, so I'm going to cancel this one and use the one that I downloaded earlier. So now that the Windows 11 ISO file is downloaded, we need to download Rufus. Open a new tab and go to rufus.ie and scroll here until you find the latest version of Rufus. At the time of this video, it is Rufus 3.20. So click on the portable one here, Rufus 3.20 portable, and the download will begin. And here is Rufus downloaded. So now we have the ISO file and Rufus. We still need the USB key. So select the USB key that you don't need the information on. And of course, it is better to have a USB key that is fast. So this is USB key that I don't need the information on. I'm going to insert it in my PC now. Once the USB key is inserted, we need to start Rufus. So open the downloaded folder where you downloaded Rufus and double click on Rufus, the version number .exe. Click yes if prompted. And Rufus will start. So the first thing you need to do here is to make sure that you're selecting the USB key that you want to put the Windows 11 ISO on. And this is also very important because this USB key will be completely wiped. So here I'm sure that this is USB key that I want. And here I'm going to show you something that you might not know. It is that if you didn't have a Windows ISO file and you didn't download it before, Rufus can download it for you. So if you click the drop down arrow here, you can select download and then click on download. And here Rufus, it will go and it will download the Windows 11 ISO for you. But in our case, we already downloaded the Windows 11 ISO. So I'm going to click on the drop down arrow here. And then I'm going to click on select. And then I'm going to click on select again here. And here you need to choose the Windows 11 ISO file that we downloaded earlier from Microsoft site. So here it is here. Select it and click on open. Under image selection, make sure that standard Windows installation is selected. And under partition scheme, if you have an old computer that doesn't have UEFI BIOS, make sure to select MBR. And this is my case here. So I'm going to select MBR. And then for everything else, leave it by default and then click on start. And these are the options that I was telling you about at the beginning of this video. And here Rufus will give you options to select, for instance, no TPM and then select a local account and everything. So let's start with the first one. So here I'm going to remove the requirement to check for TPM and secure boot and all this sort of stuff. So I'm going to check this and disable data collection. So if you don't want to go through the privacy questions and then select no by default, you can check this. So I'm going to check it also. And I'm going to check also here, and this is very important, set a local account using the same user as this users. So I'm going to check it. And what this will do is that the Windows 11 installation will create a local account using the same login name that is on this PC, and you're going to see it later. And then here, set regional options also. So this is to skip prompts in Windows. So it will set the same regional options that you have on this PC. And I'm going to select it also. And then I'm going to click on OK. 
you receive this message so this message once again it will tell you that careful everything on the usb key will be white so if you're sure click on ok i'm sure in my case and it will start here copying the iso file and creating the usb key so i'm gonna fast forward this video up until the end of this process and you notice at the end of the process it's saying applying windows customizations and these are the customizations that we selected when we selected no tpm local user regional settings and privacy settings in the rufus dialog box so give it a minute here to finish and now the usb key is finished so now we can take the usb key and go to the old pc and install windows 11. so this is the usb key and this is my old pc here so i'm gonna switch to another camera to show you how to install it very quickly so this is old pc and i'm inserting the usb key in it now after you insert the usb key start the pc and press the hot boot key that will take you to the boot menu of the pc so this is a Dell PC, I pressed F12. So I'm gonna select USB storage and press enter. And then press enter again to boot from the USB key. And now it is booting from the USB key. And here I'm not gonna go through the details of Windows 11 installation. I have other videos that cover this. If you wanna check them out, you can check in the link in the description. So I'm gonna perform a Windows 11 installation very quickly. So I'm not gonna put a product key here. I can put the product key afterwards. And here you can select your version of Windows that you wanna install and the one that you have a product key for, accept the agreement, click on custom, choose the drive where you wanna install Windows, click next, and then click okay. And the installation will start. So after the initial setup, Windows will restart. And the particularity of this installation is that it will not ask you to create a user it will not ask you the privacy questions and it will not ask you for the regional settings and this is because we chose to ignore these options with rufus and this is windows 11 started on a very old pc now what i advise you to do here is that you put a password for the user because rufus will create a user without a password so to do this press ctrl alt delete on your keyboard and then click on change the password and then put a password here under new password and then confirm the password and then press on the arrow here and the password will be changed by the way i want to add that this installation of windows 11 on this old pc will keep on running even if windows 11 updated to a major version and i tested this on another pc that i'm still using now and that i installed windows 11 on it 10 months ago so that was it for this video i hope that you liked it and you found it useful if you did Please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it, and this will help my channel greatly. And this way, you'll not miss any future videos I make. I'm Eloy, and I want to thank you all for watching. See you in the next video.